My Lord, my grandmama would say. <laughs> First off, I like to, my wife of almost 52 years to stand back there, Sister Gracie. Wave your hand, baby. I got eight minutes. All right. Wherever I go, we are used together. Especially after 25 years ago when she had cancer, we, we, we tried to be there. And most recently, she's been out of limelight because COVID is still very much alive. She had underlying health conditions. And uh, we've overcome similar situations that have got many families divided mm -hmm. in that she hasn't been to get vaccinated nor a booster because she can't handle it. Mm -hmm. I have. Mm -hmm. But many of our churches have created an alienated problem with those who have and have not. Mm -hmm. And it has become a wedge. Yeah. As I listened, I had anticipated dropping out. Mm -hmm. Yes, and support others. Mobile is saturated with four candidates. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I wanted to hear what the ancestors keep ringing in my ear from days of old. Mm -hmm. Dr. J.J. Phillips mm -hmm. would remind us that next to the Holy Ghost, we need some money. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. And I go back and look in the 50s, the denominated cars and broke down trucks would be scattered from Clark County to Selma. Mm -hmm. But they stuck together. Didn't have much money, but they bought it. And because of Duncan Hill and others like them in the Ku Klux Klan, our people had a hard time, but they come to Selma like bees on a honeycomb, and everybody was busy. That's unity. We need to find the old path and walk therein. Right now, we're in a survival mode. Coronavirus came in here like a mighty rushing wind and shut down everything. Mm -hmm. It looked like everything has reopened but the church. Mm -hmm. We should be leading the way, not following them. Mm -hmm. We have churches facing financial crisis, a crisis rather, mm -hmm. and even mental, mental desertion. Some churches are still closed. Mm -hmm. Some pastors have had to seek secular employment mm -hmm. just to survive. My brothers and my sisters, my platform is on survival, strength, and service. I didn't come to throw stones at anyone, but no matter how ugly the truth may be, we need to look it in the face, yeah. and we need to deal with it as it is. According to the list I received, we have 22 associations. Some of which I've known the strong in years past, but they're not on the list. Why? $4,900 was put in place from 20 and 21. Eight associations met the minimum requirement of $200 in 20. Two met the requirements in 21. 11 paid nothing. What happened? Who's this grown? I'm not throwing no stones at anyone. I'm pretty sure the president whoever did the best they could, but somewhere something went wrong. 146 churches paid $59,000 in in 2021. 81 churches paid 4,600, 78%. 78%, 81 churches, 320 some, 340 some churches will be eligible to vote. That means that 22% won't be eligible to vote. However, they paid him close to $13,000. I come to tell you this country went to war for taxation without representation. We need to reclaim and find out what's wrong, settle those grievances, and bring our pastors and our churches back in the unity. We can't afford to lose and leave behind 22% of our churches. We must be biblical. We must follow the mandate of Jesus Christ. And my brothers and my sisters, as time goes close, we need to keep our strong churches strong. All right. And we need to develop home mission. Yeah. 
to where we have a system to where we can take care of those churches who can't take care of themselves and help those pastors who can't help themselves. Mm -hmm. We must come together just like our predecessors and ancestors did. We have soft pews in our congregation, choir loft, good pulpit, but where are our classrooms? The Lord said teach, but where are the classrooms? And it stands the reason that the classrooms at Selma are empty because our churches don't value Christian education. It's a bad reflection on us. And we need to see that ugly picture and look at it like it is. It's not a you did, it's a us, it's a we, it's a our thing. And we can't go forward looking back. But we can look back and see our errors and correct it. I believe the best way to help Selma University is to get to be a Get involved. Dr. Cullen is one of my instructors. Dr. William one of my instructors. And thank God we had spring break. <laughs> <laughs> I enrolled at Shelvin University. Not that I need another degree. What am I going to do with it? It woke up some things from 40, 50 years ago. And I was in the greatest of hope that I will encourage some young pastor that will be trained by somebody else that don't look like us to follow me and go to Selma too. I hope and pray we do that. Get involved. No, I didn't put a political sign and flyers and all that. I use that to pay my tuition. You know me. I've been around a long time and I'm not planning on changing. And I know this job here is a devastating job. And if I put together a campaign group and I'm bracing, 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 you know what happens if somebody else wins? You'll be alienated. It's bad that we have to have an election committee to put in force the same guidelines that the sacred society do. Whatever happens to being honest and truthful and loyal. Right, uh -oh. But the truth is, everybody in the church ain't saved. <laughs> <laughs> I believe, my brothers and sisters, that we follow the old path. Find it and get in it. Not about I, or me, or mine. This is the we, us, and our thing. No big church, no little church. We need to find them. And we need to train up our young pastors. If we don't train them, somebody else who don't look like us or think like us will. We need to help our little little churches, so to speak. If we don't help them, somebody else will. And one day they're going to grow up in an association or a convention that don't look like us. Am I my brother's keeper? Yes. And charity begins at home. I'm going to stay in the race. I was going to drop out, but wasn't nobody bold enough to say what I said. I don't know what you say.